This video will take you through the startup process for a Caterpillar skid steer. First, if necessary, unplug the block heater. The power cord will often be draped over the latch that opens the compartment containing the battery disconnect switch. This helps ensure the equipment cannot be operated while still plugged in. Next, locate the battery disconnect switch and turn it to the on position. To unlock the door, make sure the key is in the correct orientation. Then turn the lock perpendicular to the handle. Carefully climb inside the cab, buckle in, and pull the lap bars down. The skid will not start without the lap bar engaged. Turn the key to the on position and wait for the display to load. Punch in the code and press the continue button. In the event you fail entering the code multiple times, you will be locked out. Wait 15 minutes and try again. Turn and hold the key until it starts. Turn the throttle up and allow the hydro fluid to warm up to 60 degrees. Disengage the parking brake, press down on AUX7 locker switch, and then toggle on continuous flow. Now we will go over the basic controls for the Muskox snowblower. To engage the blower on the right control stick with your thumb, Press and hold up on the rocker switch until continuous flow takes over. To enable continuous flow, press and release the continuous flow switch located on the upper right hand side switch panel. Once enabled, the continuous flow indicator on the display will flash. After engaging the blower, the continuous flow indicator will turn solid. To rotate the chute, the blower must first be engaged. Then, on the left control stick, press button number 6 to rotate left, or 5 to rotate right. To adjust the tilt, pull and hold the trigger on the left stick, and use buttons 5 and 6 to tilt up and down.